Welcome to St. Mark's Altar Guild. In this video, we'll review what has to happen after each service. First, please double check that the acolytes have extinguished all the candles in the nave, except for the small prayer candles, especially the tall candle near the pulpit icon. Next, Flip all of the kneelers and cushions in the chancel area so that the embroidered side is down, so that they don't fade. Next, remove all the hymn numbers from the hymn board near the pulpit and store them with the other numbers in the sacristy. Gather up all the water glasses in the chancel Dump out the water and bring them to the kitchen to wash. Pass through the chancel and gather up any leftover bulletins or orders of worship or other papers and recycle them. Take all of the money from the collection plate as well as the attendance slip from the ushers and put it all into a zipper pouch or envelope clearly marked with the name and date of the service, then put it in the safe. The safe is located in the closet in the vestry. Remember, whenever you're handling money, you need to work in pairs. Next, you need to cover the entire altar with a large cream-colored protective altar cloth. Remember, this goes much more smoothly when you do it with a partner. Now it's time to do the dishes, or wash the Eucharistic vessels. In general at St. Mark's, the head acolytes take the lead in respectfully consuming, storing in the tabernacle, or disposing on the ground outside of the consecrated bread and wine from the Eucharist, then bringing the empty dishes from the chapel altar to the sacristy, where the altar guild will reverently wash, dry, and put away the dishes and Eucharistic vessels. Check and see whether the candle lighters and snuffers need attention. Replace the wicks if they're getting low. And give the snuffer bells a little scrub with dish soap if they're getting dingy. Next, it's time to gather up the linens from the credence table, the altar or the chapel altar, and either return them to the cupboard or if they're dirty, take them home and launder them. Some of the linens are stored on cardboard rolls in the sacristy. The corporal in particular is folded in a certain way. With the embroidered cross facing up, you fold up, then down, right, then left. If there are wine stains on any of the linens, give them a good squirt with wine away, which you'll find under the sink in the sacristy. You may also wish to soak the linens, if they're particularly soiled, in a basin of water after spraying them with wine away. One member of the altar guild team can then take home all the dirty linens to launder them, wash them, dry them, iron them, fold them, then bring them back to the sacristy. You can wash and dry by hand or using a machine. The only important thing is not to use bleach. Finally, it's time to close the curtains in the chapel. Make sure that you lock all the doors that you unlocked when you arrived. Don't forget the door to the parking lot. Make sure the cro crash bar is popped out so that you know it's locked. And remember to set the alarm. You turn it left when you leave. On your way out, be sure to turn out the lights in the chapel, in the sacristy, at the lectern, in the nave, 
Remember, the nave lights are found in the library. And last but not least, at the back of the church. You have finished. Now go in peace. Thank you for your service as part of the Altar Guild. May all your work be worshipped.